You guys ready for an epic house tour? Way up north in the state of Alaska lives a man, his wife, and kids. And this dude, he lives like hella because that's the way he is. So we're gonna start out with this beautiful driveway they have. I love it so much because it really reminds you where you're at, just out in the middle of nowhere, you're driving through the trees, and then all of a sudden you come up on this beautiful home that's custom built. It's, ah, it's just gorgeous. We're gonna start our house tour in the garage because if you live somewhere, that's usually where you enter the house, so it kind of makes sense. And um, they have an awesome garage. Like first off, it's huge. They got for two cars and my car. I really miss my car. I had this car in high school. It was the car I had when Corey and I first met, um, but we didn't want to take it to Alaska, so it's just kind of in storage here. Here on the front of the house, they don't have too many windows. It's really interesting. Like, the only windows they do have are just small windows to let just enough light in to where you can see everything. And then on the other side of the house, it's just huge windows. I think that's gonna be like on the south side. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so going into the house, the first room you come into is their mudroom which is really, really big. Um, it's super nice because they have this whole huge area to like hang their coats and jackets and put their shoes and everything. This is probably a special feature of the house. It's their safe room. So their tornado shelter, um, if anybody like breaks in for some reason, they can go lock themselves in there to be safe. This door came from an old courthouse in a small town in Oklahoma. So really, really cool. This is like the original old combination lock that was on it when it was in the courthouse. All right, so right across from the mudroom is first this awesome cabinet full of games. My parents are the favorite aunts and uncles, okay? Whenever kids come over, they run straight to this cabinet. And then my, one of my favorite rooms because it's where I stay is the guest bedroom. The first thing I love about this room is all the circles. So curtains, lamps, everything has circles. I didn't grow up in this house. They built this house when I was in college, but they still have like some of my furniture that I had when I was growing up, all those pictures from when I was a kid. So it makes me feel at home, even though I live in Alaska and don't get to come here very often. All right, so the guest bathroom is really pretty cool too. It continues with the circle theme. And this bathroom, my mama designed for grandbabies, okay? So if you look, you know, there's lots of fun colors and everything, but this bathtub, when they were building the house, she picked it out because it would be easy to bathe her grandbabies in. So, of course, you know, as I keep saying, they live out in the middle of nowhere, and they've got this beautiful landscaping in the front of their yard. What's awesome about this is it's kind of on a little hill that's tilted towards the house. So rather than having beautiful landscaping to impress your neighbors, you've got this beautiful landscaping to impress your guests, yourself, to, to, to just enjoy for yourself. And I think that's, that's really awesome. It's like, it's like their own private garden. One really cool feature about this house is this huge long hallway. It runs all the way from the garage to their bedroom at the end of the house. And the floor is really, really cool. There's a lot of like architectural design that went into the color of granite. You know, they have a light granite and then at the posts they have darker granite. Very, very cool. This is the house when it was being built, which is neat. This is the original architectural like design for the house. So you can see the house is kind of different, but still with the same theme. And this is the house I grew up in. So they had an artist draw this house um, and it's really neat that they kind of still have that little piece of what I call my childhood in this house. Of course, you lived in that house for like ever, for like 25 years or something probably. So a long time. And this is the porch on this end of the house. Um, it's really cute, really cool place to just, I don't know, I think I'd go out there a lot and have like glasses of lemonade and stuff, but. Next is kind of the kitchen dining room area. So their kitchen is awesome, super bright, super open, which is really cool. Oh, and check out their oven. Okay, have you guys ever seen an oven that has like two doors? So like a little one and then a big one. So if it was just like the two of them eating, they could just cook stuff in the top. But if they have a big party, they can use the bottom part too. Clever, so clever. And of course, since it's a kitchen, you gotta have a picture of your favorite child eating birthday cake, right? Was that my first birthday? Another awesome thing about their kitchen area is their, okay, pantry. Like, I, you can't really call this a pantry because it's a whole room. But check out, this is like 
this is like what a chef would have, right? Like all their food storage and their, you know, coffee makers and mixers and all that stuff is in here. It's like a huge, awesome area just to store stuff. Everybody needs more storage in their kitchen, except for maybe my parents. Moving on to the, I don't know what this is called. I'll just say the front door. <laughs> They've got this really cool sort of hallway slash breezeway. I don't know what you call it, but I think this is just so cool because you can see straight through the house. The house is in so, sort of like a H shape. On one side of the house, you've got the garage, the bedroom, the safe, the kitchen, the, the living room, all the stuff for your guests, right? And then you go through that hallway there and then it's all your personal stuff. So they've got their, their office, their, their bedroom and their master bathroom. It's, it's pretty cool. Another really neat thing about their house is how high their ceilings are. I'm not sure why they have to be that high, but I love it. So their dining room is kind of unique as well. First they have this one dining table that's just like a changing area for babies. Um, I don't think it was designed for that, but that's what we're using it for. But the unique thing about their dining room is that they have two dining room tables, which I think is very clever because how often do you need like a huge table, right? Usually it's just the two of them eating. So they'll sit here and eat and they'll be able to look outside, see the deer come up and all that stuff, which is nice in the morning. Um, but if they need to, they can put these tables together and have a big family meal like we did the other day. Uh, I love the colors in here, the brightness, all the little details like the lights and everything are really fun to me. Very, very cool. And it's open to their huge living room, which is also super, super bright. And check out their couch, okay? Can you tell me where in the world you've seen a longer couch than that? That is the longest couch ever. It's like at a train station or something, but it's comfy and cool looking, so it's not at a train station. But... Moving on to the west wing of the house, as you can see again, the windows are really small, keeping with, you know, the, the theme of everything. And again, the windows on the other side, super huge. I love this place so much. Like if, <laughs> if we didn't live in Alaska, this is a sort of home I would absolutely love to live in. Like I wish, I wish I could have grown up in a, in a house like this because like, look, look at this. I know I talk about it all the time and I'm, I'm obsessed with it, but this is why I love the house is they are just out in the middle of nowhere and it's so quiet. We're just going to pause for a second and listen. So now here we are on the south side of the house. Remember how I was saying they had a ton of windows? Wasn't kidding, this whole side is just covered in huge windows. And here we have the living room windows. I love these windows, they're so big. And really, we don't even watch TV when we're here. We just kind of look outside and watch the wildlife. I love the eaves too, by the way, how they stick out so far. I don't know why they're like that, but again, it's, it's just a really fun feature. Okay, now to the main entrance of the house, since we started in the garage. This is kind of their main entryway. One really cool thing about it is that it's all glass. Um, so you can see like straight from the front yard right into the backyard, which helps with light and everything. And it just looks really, really neat. Let's take a walk back into their backyard because I have to show you this. It's gorgeous, it is. First of all, they've got all of these different types of bird feeders, which I think is so cool because it calls the animals in, not just the birds, but the squirrels and the deer and, and just everything, everything that's back here. They got a nice little fire pit, nice little place to sit. And I love this. Oh, they've got this huge swing. And when Shell's old enough, we're going to have so much fun on this. I don't know if you can see it, but it ties all the way up there. So it's like 20 feet at least. I love this swing so much. It's so relaxing. I think it's because it's tied up so high. It feels like you're just kind of going back and forth versus like, you know, up and down and up and down. Yeah. It's definitely a nice place to come and relax. From there, you come into their office area. Um, this room could also be converted into an extra bedroom if they ever decide to, but this is my mom's office. Um, lots of really cool stuff in their china cabinet, all their treasures from all their years of traveling and vacations they've taken. It's kind of a, a cowgirl theme, this room. Um, very, very kind of cool and fun to work in. And look at my parents when they were young. Actually, I haven't seen this picture yet. So walking into their woods, looks like more grass, more trees, pretty much the same thing for a greater distance. <laughs> so here's a really awesome thing about their house. I love this thing so much. This is a feeder and I think it's like first thing in the morning and then right at dusk, um, this goes off and spreads corn all over the ground and then animals just come flocking from the forest. It's so cool. So you'll get like tons of deer and squirrels and rabbits and just 
whatever's out here just comes to eat. It's so cool. And then things get a little too crazy. Okay, so making our way back to the house. A little salt lick there. So remember the front door that had the hallway that you could see through that comes to the backyard? Well, here we are. This is the back portion of it. Again, I think it's just super cool. I'm not sure why they did it like that, but eh, I mean, why, why, why have a reason for anything? I'm sure there's a reason. <laughs> uh, this is the outside of their office. Their office is so cool. And hopefully Kristen shows you the photography. These pictures that my dad took up here on the walls, these are all animals they've seen in their yard or on their property. So he got all of these shots himself and and look at all the animals they have. Like, I don't think we've seen this many animals in our house in Alaska, but they've seen them all just outside their house. Okay, I feel kind of odd keep showing you the bathrooms, but their guest bathroom here is really, really cool. So I'm gonna show you. So this bathroom is neat for, okay, a lot of reasons, but my favorite reason is the shower in here. Check out the floor. Like, it's these river rocks. So if you take a shower in this shower, it's like you're getting a foot massage the whole time and it's really nice. <laughs> okay, so continuing on down the house, they have their laundry room here, which I'm super jealous of because it's huge. And they have a sink in their laundry room. I would love to have a sink in our laundry room, especially when their sink in there is like this deep and it's just perfect for like pre-washing clothes or getting stains out or anything like that. And then their bedroom, which has a sleepy baby in it. Their beautiful master bedroom. This is awesome. Like imagine waking up every morning and just seeing the wildlife, all the animals surrounding your house. It's gotta be so beautiful. I mean, those windows, those windows are so big. Then when you're ready to get up, you can grab your coffee and come out on this private deck and just enjoy the smell of the woods. Personally, I would spend hours sitting there. So there you go. There's a tour of Kristen's parents' house, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's time for Kristen and I to pack up and head back to Alaska, back home where it is cold, but beautiful. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Saying goodbye to sunshine, saying goodbye to warm, heading to Alaska where ice will be the norm. So much to see, so much to do, and the best part is we're sharing